This is a quick tutorial on using UPnP sharing from one XBMC device to another. You need to have an existing library for this to work. It won't work with just files. As you can see here, I've got a bunch of movies already scanned into my library. UPnP sharing is a good alternative to just maintaining two separate libraries on, on the same network or even using MySQL sharing which is a lot more complex to set up. We go into system here, into the settings. We go into services which in previous versions of XBMC used to be called network. And this is now broken up into nice sections here. We go right into UPnP by default, it's off. The little light's off. So you just turn it on on the machine you want to share. And that's all you have to do on that first machine. It does have to be running, though, that XBMC instance for it to share to the other one. So here we are on our second XBMC machine, the one that we want to view the other library on. This one does not have a library set up, but it doesn't matter if it did or didn't because the UPnP library share shows up as a file share. So that's how we're going to add it. We're going to go into video files, add video source, go right into browse, and if you scroll down, you will see a UPnP browser that should show all the UPnP servers that are on the local network. And right here is the XBMC device that we previously set up to share its library. We can drill down here to specific folders or we can share both music and uh, video there just as you would any other video source. You can name it, and there it is right there. The great thing about this is you could add multiple video, different video libraries uh, throughout the network if you wanted to keep separate libraries. Or let's say you have a house and everyone in the house has their own library, but they want to share with each other, but maintain their own setup. This would be one way to do that. So we go right into there. It works kind of as if you were going into your video library from the topmost node. So you can actually go in and view by actors, by genre, just as you would on your local library. Or we can just go straight into title, which is what normally would happen by default. We can change our view here, and as you can see, all the all the metadata, the covers, the thumbnails, the fan art, summaries, they're all loaded. I have not set up any kind of thumbnail sharing. I have not touched any advanced setting file. All this happens automatically on a fresh install just by using the UPnP sharing features right in the graphic interface. And it just kind of works just like that. The other thing too is that when you do this, it'll work with content that's been locally added. Like you don't have to worry about if it's uh, if if all your movies are on a, a file share or having to move them to a file share. This uh, UPnP sharing automatically takes care of all of that, so it can be added as a local drive in XBMC. But once you turn UPnP sharing on, all the computers on the network can access it. So it's, it's another way to easily share these things. Now there are some drawbacks like currently watch status and resume points don't work. Uh, skin wise, you do have to go into the files here. It doesn't quite appear as your normal library, but that's something that can be fixed with skinning. 
uh, the watch status, resume points, uh, things like that. Those are features that are going to be added in the future. And eventually, UPnP sharing will replace MySQL sharing. MySQL sharing, if you try to use it, is very complicated. Uh, it, sometimes it's not too bad, but it's a lot of steps. And it's not as easy as this, and soon it will be. In addition to sharing to other XBMC machines, this should also work with anything that works with UPnP sharing and uh, DLNA. So it includes several types of smart TVs and whatnot. Currently, those devices will have to support the native file format. Um, if it's a file format that those devices don't support, then it probably won't work. But hopefully in the future, XBMC might also be gaining a transcoding server so that it'll automatically take care of those file formats and play back on whatever device you have. You, can, you will even be able to remotely control the, the playback through XBMC onto the other device. So you could be sitting on the couch, on your laptop, or even your Android tablet with XBMC for Android, be watching something, and play it right onto your smart TV and control playback, then flip straight back to the tablet, just as you would with something like Apple's AirPlay. But something that's much more open standard and really cool so that's about it